Hello everyone, it's story time again. I'm Miss Linda and I have a story to read called Are We Still Friends? It's written by Randall Goodgame and illustrated by Corey Jones. Ooh. Sorry. Are We Still Friends? Hip hip hooray for picnic day, a time for food and fun with Doug and Sparky, grizzly bears, raccoons, and everyone. Sparky asked, what's in the sack? Here, take a look, Doug said. Dandelions, raisins, and some pumpernickel bread. Cool, I've got a peanut butter sandwich, carrots, and a bag of Flavor Blasted Pizza Chips from Pizza Land. Flavor Blasted Pizza Chips, I love those chips so much. Me too, said Sparky. Pizza Land has got the magic touch. Then Maggie the raccoon walked up, a twinkle in her jaw, twiddling a purple ping pong paddle in her paw. Do you know what time it is? She riddled right at Doug. It's time for my rematch with your friend, the lightning bug. Sparky clapped. Of course, we plan to play on picnic day. I'll be right back, Doug, once I put this sly raccoon away. Sparky kid at Maggie, but she answered with a rhyme. You're going down like a frown on a clown this time. So Sparky went with Maggie, but Doug was not alone. For right there on the table, making his poor stomach groan, was the brand new bag of pizza chips, Doug's fa very favorite kind. So he thought, I'll just eat one. I know my friend won't mind. There he goes. Mmm, that's tasty. Sparky is so nice to share with me. Just one more, Doug thought. But he took two, and that makes three. Then a mantis waved a canvas. That was strange and nice, but it distracted Doug. And then he gobbled more chips twice. A charm of hummingbirds flew by and spilled a couple. Crunch. A grizzly with a whizby made the table tremble. Munch. Doug kept chomping, watching pokey turtles playing tag. Then he felt the crinkle of the bottom of the bag. The chips! Quag! Doug gasped and groaned. Oh no, what have I done? My fingertips are flavor blasted. And now here they come. The ping pong pair approached their friend. Hey Doug, is something wrong? Doug hit his hands. Uh, Sparky, all your pizza chips are gone. What happened? Sparky asked. Did someone take them from the table? And now, dear friends, the saddest moment in this happy fable. Doug knew what he had done, but he did not want to admit it. So he told a lie. Um, yes. Doug said, someone else did it. Who was it? Maggie asked. Maybe they did it for a laugh. Since one lie always makes another, Doug said, uh, giraffe. Then Jane Giraffe looked in and said, oh, heavens and good grief let me ask my friends and then i'm sure we'll find the thief no wait doug said no not a giraffe a camel did it then karen camel piped up i'll ask pam maybe she hit it hold on karen maybe it was not a camel either i remember now it was a bearded ancient beaver an ancient beaver croaked out you should check my beard for crumbs. But Sparky said, Doug, what's that on your fingers and your thumbs? And when they saw his orange hands, the crowd went cricket quiet. Someone whistled long and low. Doug sighed, I can't deny it. It was me. I'm sorry, ancient beaver. Sorry, camel. I ate the chips. It wasn't a giraffe or any mammal. I didn't mean to eat them all and wreck our picnic trip, but it was me, I ate them. Every last delicious chip. 
I'm sorry, Sparky. They were gone before I knew it. Softly, Sparky said. Of course you didn't mean to do it. The crowd grumped and grumbled as Doug fumbled what to say. But as his mumble stumbled, Sparky turned and walked away. Then everybody left, except for Maggie, the raccoon. She said, go talk to your friend, but this time sing a different tune. He's not mad about the chips. He's hurt because you lied. A friendship isn't real if you can't trust the other side. Doug found his friend folded on a stump and looking glum. I'm sorry that I lied to you, he said. That was so dumb. Sparky answered, I picked out those chips because of you. I know how much you like them and that makes me happy too. Are we still friends? Doug asked, or should we sort of wait and see? And Sparky said, I hope so. I mean, I would like to be. I forgive you, Doug. Sometimes it's hard to be a friend and everybody gets it wrong ways every now and then. And who else could I ever play Invisible Submarine with? And how else could we ever play Le Leviathan and Behemoth? And who else makes me laugh like a hyena with no fleas? Then suddenly they heard a yoo-hoo way up in the trees. It was Jane Giraffe and they could not believe their eyes. She had a bag of pizza chips, giant giraffe size, huh, giraffe gigantic size. She passed the massive bag to Sparky. Thank you, Jane, Doug cried. And they feasted on the pizza chips till they were satisfied. Then the afternoon unfolded like a blanket on the lawn, filling picnic day with fun long after all the chips were gone. So I hope you enjoyed that story. And one little tidbit I hope you get from the story is it's never good to lie.